So you guys should really be doing this while you can and it's still here. I mean this farm right now in my opinion is one of the best in the game since the latest patch. And well it's actually quite efficient. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So since the latest Avengers patch the version 1.3.0. Most of the used farming spots have either been nerfed or are just utterly bugged. These include still the Mega Hive, the Elite Heroic Hives and they've even tried to do their best to ruin the days of the Remains mission also. And while any new farm which doesn't fit their narrative I can see being nerfed in the future too. But this one is in fact a very good farm and it rewards guaranteed legendaries which are hero specific. Another great thing about this is it's scaling. Even on that challenge 4 difficulty it's still way below your level or should be. This means if you want to farm for numerous chests within this you can earn extra resources if you pull it on a challenge 4. So the mission is the priority vault mission. The Desert Vault. And well, what's even better with this is the fact you don't have to find any vault resource to enter this. Because as you know, with normal vaults, you have to go grab that vault resource for them to appear on your map. Not with this, you don't. You can just jump straight into it and just keep repeating it. And this is there until reset. Now, I ran the Mega Hive, which is the new end game feature, which is basically a normal hive, but you have no lives, nor can you respawn. It's literally you die and you switch to your next Avenger. If that Avenger is a low level, you can't use them. The whole thing is six floors of enemies where modifiers will allow you to be one-shotted for the most part. I did this and it took me close to 50 minutes, as I was playing reserved as I didn't want to die. Because the Avenger you finish the mission with is the one you get that loot on. You can't pick. Plus it's solo only. And well after 45 to 50 minutes, I didn't even get a legendary reward. All I got for all that grind was a few modules. So yes, the loot in this game unless it's a guaranteed drop for the most part seems a bit sus. Yet this priority vault will take you less than 10 minutes and it guarantees you a legendary as well as all the other resources and gear you can get from those chests if you want to run to them too at the start before you enter the vault. So I know which I'd rather do, obviously this, the more efficient, better, less hassle, more fun vault. But like I said, you only have a few more days to take advantage of this. So do what you gotta do and get that loot people before it's too late. I've had quite a few decent legendaries drop from this. And like I said, because they've nerfed a lot of the other farms and there's still a few bugs here and there when it comes to rewards dropping, this with its guaranteed legendary drop is in my opinion one of the best to do in a game right now. So use it and abuse it while you can. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly helps out. And remember, turn notifications on if you liked what you see and want to see more. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.